Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over an uh, order unit. So a customer custom ordered this trailer, but it gives us the option to show you guys a bunch of cool stuff that we can do. This is a 2023 Cimarron Northstar Four Horse Gooseneck Living Quarters. Um, it's really cool. You can tell it's a red color. We don't do colored trailers very often. If you've been watching, I did a blue one a few months ago that was also a custom order. But this individual ordered this trailer probably 10 months ago. He wanted this trailer red. He kind of built this trailer to be more of an off-grid trailer so it doesn't have some of the major necessities you normally see on a living quarters trailer such as AC and stuff like that. He kind of built it to be an off-grid, um, not power consuming trailer so he can kind of use it and not use up all his battery power all the time. So we'll start off by walking around this trailer. Of course, like I said, it's red. Um, I believe the color, actual color name for this trailer is Hunter Red. It's actually a really cool trailer. It popped really well and turned out really nice. Um, but we'll start off here in our living quarters area. We do have our living quarter entry door. It is covered in this vinyl cloth. You do have a snap cover for your window to keep that light out from your living quarters door. Then down low is your wood covering. It really helps prevent, especially if you guys are taking dogs. Dogs like to scratch at the door. That wood's gonna hold up a lot better than that vinyl will. Same thing if you're pushing the door open with your feet when you're coming out. That wood's gonna hold up a lot better and actually looks really flashy as well. And then down low, we do have our fold up step. So again, really handy to be able to fold that step down and take about eight inches of your step off getting in that living quarter. And then again, that piston over here on your corner, it will hold that step up while you're traveling. And the same thing, it'll hold it down. So you're not gonna have to worry about that step rattling around or anything like that. Our entry to here, we do have a rollout type screen door. Again, it rolls into its own little track back here in the corner out of the way and it is secured by a magnet. So again, you can keep the bugs out. And then again, it goes right out of the way like that. And you're not having to worry about fighting that typical folding screen door that you would typically see, you know, that it attaches over here to your door. Um, you don't have to worry about fighting that. You don't have to worry about the handle going bad or anything like that. It simply just slides out of the way. Up here in our living quarter, again, it's a really condensed living quarter. This is a 10 foot eight short wall. So really nice compact space for him. Um, again, we opted to kind of build this off the grid style. So in place of an AC up here, we do have a max air fan. So again, he can pull air in, pull air out, control the fan speed, stuff like that. Get the air circulating again without having to run an AC and really consume a lot of power. <coughs> Over here in our kitchen area, we do have our sink, our two burner cooktop with our glass cover. Again, I really like these glass covers. They look really nice. And then again, when you're not using your cooktop, you get all that counter space as well. And you can use the top of that glass as a, you know, a countertop extension. Above that, we do have our lighted um, hood fan. Again, this is vented out of the trailer. So again, anytime you're cooking anything like that, it'll catch all those fumes, all that smoke, and it'll vent it right out of this trailer. Over here next to that, it is kind of our deck for this trailer. So this, you know, is a CD player, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth to your phone. You can plug a USB into it, stuff like that. There is no TV in this trailer, so TV's not going to be wired to that directly. But again, you're going to have the option to listen to some music while you hang out. It will have outdoor speakers as well if you want to listen outside. As far as storage goes in this kind of smaller trailer, I mean, for a small trailer, we have plenty of storage. we got a above storage here above our cooktop. He did not opt for a microwave, so again, this would typically be your microwave area. So we got some more extra storage there. He has some cabinetry again to the left of that as well. And then up here in his gooseneck area, he'll have a large cabinet. He'll have his full double door wardrobe up in the nose. Another cabinet off to the left, and then again behind me, he's gonna have a full row of cabinetry up high above his couch area. This is a 72 inch sofa sleeper, so again, nice couch area to hang out. If he wants to sleep on this couch, it easily folds out into a sofa sleeper as well. So again, he's got kind of two sleeping spaces in this trailer. And it easily just folds up and down. Behind me over here on our driver's side, we do have our 6 refrigerator. So down low is your fridge portion. It is a full separated fridge and freezer. Up high, we do have our freezer portion with our temperature control, your gas valves and stuff like that. We do also get a little bit of storage area above that fridge again. They try to kind of include storage wherever they can on these trailers just because while you're traveling, you know, especially in a living quarters, you're not getting all that storage space of the tack room. So we try to give you guys as much as possible. Behind me, before we go in the bathroom, it is a big hanging type closet. You have a high, lot and a high rod and a low rod. So again, plenty of space to hang shirts, stuff like that, coats. You're gonna have plenty of space in this trailer. Moving to our bathroom, it's gonna be kind of our typical sized bathroom for a living quarter of this size. Again, down low, we do have our porcelain toilet. It is a full porcelain toilet. It's not plastic. 
Um, behind that toilet, we do have a big storage cabinet. So again, a double rod storage cabinet, be able to hang stuff high, hang stuff low. You will notice down low, there is a removable, movable uh, tabletop. So again, that tabletop can come out. It's gonna go on a carpet base and you can slide it wherever you want inside this trailer to give you more cooking space, eating space off that couch. You can take that table outside if you're cooking outside or hanging out. Again, it's just a movable table that gives you guys more you know, countertop space in this trailer. Over here is our bathroom vanity. So again, storage down low below that sink. You do have your porcelain sink, with stainless hardware, and then above that we do have your mirrored vanity again, medicine cabinet, whatever you want to call it, a nice little storage space that is mirrored. And then in our corner over here, you have our radius shower. Again, nice size shower with a skylight above it to give you guys plenty of light. It is a vented skylight. He opted for that, so that's not something we typically do. So we can open that vent and let all that, you know, shower steam out the roof if he wants, or if he just wants some fresh air in here. Adjustable shower head. You have your towel hanger built inside your shower for drying towels after you shower. Again, stainless hardware throughout. If you guys go to build a trailer, you're gonna get some options as far as do you want stainless, do you want black, do you want copper, stuff like that. Bronze, we can do a lot of stuff. And then of course, I am standing in the escape door to this trailer. So it is an escape, or not an escape door, a pass-through door. Um, you can walk right through your LQ into your horse area, use this as a mudroom if you'd like. Same thing, you can come through this way. You don't have to get your front entryway dirty. Um, it is a vinyl wrap door and we always do it to where it opens into the horse. That way if a horse leans on it, it's not opening into your LQ while you're traveling. So again, this pass-through door is super awesome. We'll talk a little more about it as we walk the living port or the stall area of this trailer. So we work our way out. I wanna talk a little bit about some of the functions of this trailer. So again, he's got that max air fan in place that AC. So this will be his control for that fan. Down low is our propane valve system. And again, some light switches, stuff like that. But this is a solar power equipped trailer. So there is our solar power indicator for this trailer. Again, we tried to build it off grid. So it does have solar power on the roof. This is giving him his battery voltage. So his battery voltage is at 12.6 right now. We're running all the lights off the batteries and that solar is just gonna slowly, you know, keep those batteries charged up, allow him to be able to use lights and stuff like that. And he doesn't have anything here that's a super big power draw. So we should be able to use all the lights, stuff like that, you know, quite a while before he has to you know, fully shut down and let that solar catch up. So move down the side of this trailer. We do have, you can see your exterior speaker up high. Again, if he wants to hang out out here, he has outlets to plug in to cook. Speaker that runs off that deck inside. We do have a 16 inch awning light up high. Again, giving you guys enough light if you're tying out. Um, wherever you are, whether you're in the wilderness, you're at a rodeo where you're tying out and you can't get stalls. You do have that awning light to be able to check on your horses while you're feeding, tied out, stuff like that. We also installed through our factory once this trailer got here, he wanted some high ties installed. These high ties are a super cool option if you guys want to do them. You can hang, you know, about a 12, 16 inch leader here, tie directly to your horse and they can freestand out here. They can spin circles underneath that. They can lay down if they want to. It's a really, really cool setup to do if you're tying off your trailer overnight a lot versus just tying them directly to the trailer where they have to stay, you know, stood up all night. They can actually free roam with this and it's really simple. When you're done using it, you pull your pin, it folds against the trailer out of the way and you can travel just as normal. We do have bus type windows on your hip side. So again, these are gonna open 50% of the way and really kind of allow you to move some air through this trailer. Down low, we do have our four tie rings. Um, again, four horse trailer, our typical is how we're gonna set up. If you do a four horse, you can get four tie rings each side. We can always add more if you guys want more. We can do less if you guys want less. Down low, we do have our full aluminum wheels. These are nitrogen filled tires. You can tell from the green cap. What nitrogen filling these tires does is it really helps keep that PSI, you know, balanced in these trailers. If you get a really cool morning and a warm afternoon, that PSI isn't gonna climb on you. It's gonna stay really balanced because nitrogen doesn't contract and expand like, uh, you know, typical oxygen or air does. Um, so it's really gonna add to the life of these tires. It's gonna help prevent blow blowouts, prevent flats, and prevent you really from having to air up and deflate these tires before or after you guys you know travel a little ways through different temperature climates so you come around to the back of this trailer again kind of your typical setup for an eight foot wide trailer we are going to have the 60 40 rear doors your smaller portion of that door is going to be your folding tack room so you have your fully adjustable removable saddle rack you can adjust these to whatever height you want you have your blanket bars up top which again you can adjust remove set them up however you want if you want to go you know, saddle rack, blanket rack, and just put them in there however you want. If you're 
not hauling horses and you wanna take four-wheelers, stuff like that, want a little more storage space, you can fully remove that saddle rack, fold this wall over out of the way, and again, make it a little more user-friendly for whatever you're doing. On our door, we do have bridle hooks, brush tray down low. We also have more bridle hooks mounted to that folding divider itself, again, fully carpeted behind that divider. Our other door, which is our 60 portion, our bigger door, we like to give you guys the bigger door to be able to load horses a little more effectively. Um, as we climb in this trailer, again, these are partial type dividers. They are padded. He opted for the padded dividers in this trailer. So our back three dividers in this trailer are gonna be that partial type padded divider. And then for our front divider, of course, we always like to do a stud stall just in case you're hauling a horse that likes to kick. More so, I like to do a stud stall you're only hauling three horses you can load them back here and use this front stall as more of a storage area you can put grain here totes you can stack hay up here he does not have a hay rack on this trailer so i believe he is going to use this front stall as more of a storage area so it works really well to keep you know your bigger bulkier stuff in this front stall and then you can still use that pass-through door as kind of a mudroom door and travel through this trailer something custom he wanted in this trailer is we did go for a shelf in this front stud stall on this back wall Again, gives him an area to just kind of throw stuff out of the way, keep it up high from rolling around. Again, it's out of the way. If he ever de does need to haul a front horse, that horse can fit underneath that perfectly. Um, and he really wanted just a place. I think his current trailer, he has a shelf in it like this, and he really liked that option. So we went ahead and asked him around if they could do it. They said no problem, and now he has a shelf to kind of store some stuff. In this front stall, we do have an escape door out. So again, really easy to climb in from that escape door from the outside of the trailer, use this as a mudroom, grab your hay, grab your grain, feed your horses without ever having to offload your horses if you're stopped at a fuel station or something like that. Each one of your stalls is gonna be set up with two tie rings. Again, if you wanna hang a hay bag, you can tie horses out to whether your left side or right, whatever you want. This front stall does not have a hay bag, but it is equipped. You can add a, you know, a typical corner feed bag if you guys wanted it is set up for that from the factory. These back three stalls, however, this is a manger trailer. We're eight wide. We have an 18 inch manger on this trailer. So he's gonna have a feed bunk on the inside, which gives him storage on the outside. So again, these are super handy to be able to throw hay, grain, really easy to clean. They're set up with a drain at the end. So if you tilt this trailer back after you've been traveling for a while, spray it with water. It's all gonna run to that uh, drain there in the back and clean these out really nice for you. But same thing, we are gonna have our two tie rings in each one of these stalls as well. And then as we move out of the trailer, I'll talk a little bit about the roof. We do have roof vents situated. Each one of these four stalls is gonna have a two-way roof vent. You can pull a lot of air in with these roof vents, especially while you're traveling at highway speed, or you can situate them to pull air out of this trailer. So again, really keeping that clean, consistent airflow for your horses. No matter what Cimarron you order, whether it be you know, a living quarter like this, just a use and four horse, if you're doing a stock combo, anything like that, you are gonna get Cimar Cimarron's insulated roof no matter what trailer you order. This is a full one piece roof, fully insulated. It's gonna keep it about 20% cooler back here than just your standard aluminum sheeted roof. It's a great option that Cimarron throws on and they throw it on absolutely every trailer they build at no cost to you guys. To jump out of this trailer, we do have a Aluminum butt bar, again, it's kind of a ball and joint type butt bar. I like this setup versus having to unclip them because you can just knock it out of the way really easy. And when you go to put it in, you just gotta drop it right back in that joint. I like that a lot because a lot of times, as soon as you get where you're going, those horses are gonna try to back out of this trailer. They know where they're at. They know they're getting off the trailer and you're trying to fight you know, a little latch or something like that. It's really easy just to knock this out of the way and drop it. Just super handy and super usable. Work our way to the head side of this trailer. Again, it's gonna look really similar to that hip side with the exception of on this head side, we have these big drop windows. They're kind of a three system drop window. So you will have a little sliding type window in them. So if you wanted to run these windows fully enclosed, maybe it's a little cooler morning, but you wanted to keep that air flowing for your horses, you can shut these up, run them with just this little sliding type in here, really get some airflow not overpowering if it's a little bit colder of a morning or you can run them they're like they're set up like this you have jail bars keep your horses from sticking their heads out but again you're really maximizing the airflow if we run them this way and then of course if you're on the outside of this trailer you need to feed your horses check on your horses make sure they're eating traveling okay you can easily when you're at a gas station drop these jail bars gives you full access to the inside of the trailer gives you access to that feed tray right there you can easily check feed your horses untie your horses if you want to untie them before you offload them and this is a manger trailer, like I said, inside. So it gives you those feed bunks inside, but then on the outside, what it gives you is about this 18 inch deep 
a storage area. You can store buckets in here, slickers in here, grain in here. Again, we're really limited on storage when it comes to building living quarters. So we really like to do these mangers because one, a horse is built to kind of ride in a standard six, you know, six, 10, seven foot wide trailer. So when we make them eight foot, we can take that extra foot of space that we added, give you guys some storage underneath and really use the dead space that your horse isn't using and give you guys storage options on these trailers. This is a good outside view of that escape door. So again, super easy, just throw grain, throw hay, totes. If it's a muddy day and you ended up quite muddy and you didn't want to come through you know, your main living quarters door, dirty up your living quarters, you can easily climb in through your escape door, take off your muddy clothes, go right through that pass-through door, jump in the shower, clean off, and then it keeps your living quarters nice, keeps your trailer looking nice. And again, just kind of keep stuff separate. Moving down kind of more of our head wall, you'll notice all our windows on the Cimarron side are frameless. It's a really sleek look. They're not framed out anymore. They are frameless awning type window, which looks really, really clean. Just come to the front side of this trailer. We'll finish off kind of with some of the details under here under the nose. Here we do have our battery box. Again, it is a three tier battery box. You're gonna have three batteries power in the house on this. So again, he's got extra battery power. This isn't included. This, I'm just powering the trailer with this box. So ignore that little box. Um, battery box, we do include every trailer that we do have battery power on that you're gonna be using besides just like your standard hand crank trailer. Um, we do include that with a battery disconnect. Again, you get where you're going, you're not using the trailer for a couple days, you can turn that to off and it's gonna kill all the power to this trailer. So you don't have to worry about draining those batteries down. Again, this is a solar powered trailer, so you're not gonna have to worry about it as much because it is constantly gonna be trickle charging those batteries. Down below that, we do have our two 20 pound tank uh, 20 pound propane tanks again about the only thing those propane tanks are going to be powering on this trailer again because we kind of opted for that low option is one he's going to be able to power his furnace with the propane and then two he's going to be able to power that fridge off the propane if he is not running it off you know plug-in power or his batteries to the left of that we do have our single leg electric over hydraulic jack again we opt to put anytime we put a hydraulic jack on a Cimarron we are going to do it with the ma manual override just in the case your batteries die something like that fails you do have the option to still hand crank this trailer up or down. You're not stranded wherever you are. To the left of that, we do have a matching wheel and tire to the ones that are on the ground on this trailer. Again, you have a flat, you have a blowout. You can swap tires and not be looking like you're riding on a donut. You're going to have a matching wheel, a high quality tire, um, be able to travel just as you would be before the blowout. So we like to give you guys that option that, again, you have a flat, you have a blowout. You're not having the greatest day ever. So we like to give you guys a quality tire, quality wheels that you can swap on and not have to worry about having issues with that as you continue traveling. And of course, up here on our, on our gooseneck, we do have our B&W coupler. This is a two and five sixteenths ball. This is the new design. We went to this design, B&W worked with Cimarron on this to give you guys one more adjustment hole. We have a lot of people, especially on these living quarter trailers, that are starting to pull them with like your Freightliner type haulers. If you watch our videos, you've seen quite a few of them. When you go to a Freightliner type hauler, your bed height gets quite a bit higher. So they opted to go to this design just so we can get one more hole that would really make you guys ride level if you're pulling with a hauler trailer. And we do have your safety chains, your breakaway cable, and then of course your seven pin plug. Again, we try to try to give you all the features on these trailers to make them usable for what you guys want to do. Again, he sat down, we custom built this trailer to suit his needs perfectly. Um, we can do a lot of cool stuff with Cimarron. If you're wanting to build an off-the-grid type trailer, if you want to build, big, the build, build the biggest show trailer you can possibly build, or if you just want to build you know, a cattle trailer with some extra features that make it usable for you, we can do that here. Um, if you're interested in this trailer or some of the features we talked about on this trailer, the stock number is 5N221518. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron Northstar Four Horse Living Quarters. So yeah, if you're interested in this trailer, maybe you want to build your own. If you're interested in some other trailers we have on the lot, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Our phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.